Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel once again. It's been a little while, but not a long while. Um, so I am back home and I'm literally about to leave in a few days. So that's always great. I just never had the time to actually do like an update video of like what's been going on. So I graduated tech school about two weeks ago and I came back home for rap which you could do after tech school um rap is a recruiter's assistance program where you help out your recruiter trying to get more people into um your branch so that's what I did you go to take off like 12 days of rap which is max you obviously do less if you want to but um i did the full 12 12 days uh that also came along with five days of my leave which i'm like i'm okay with because i still have about five days of leave left possibly i should so which i'm I'm okay with it, to be honest so it's not that bad um i'll be heading to my base on monday so literally i would need to start packing up my stuff tomorrow and sunday um my flight is very early in the morning so sunday i'll probably sleep in early and I won't be streaming for a hot minute, probably. It really depends, though. So, I am... I'm not sure how I'll be going and all that. So, if I do stream somehow, in some way, <laughs> you'll know. Um, right now, I'm about to, like, after this video is posted up and all that, I'll be live streaming. So, uh, I'll be live streaming Death Stranding. So that's always exciting. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't really have like much an update to be honest. Like it was really tech school was like I really enjoyed it, and it it sucks that it ended a lot quicker than I wanted it to. Because, you know, my friends, I, like, I didn't think I was going to be friends with my roommate, but I did. And she's over there in freaking Korea. And I'm here in stateside. <laughs> so, that's, that's always great, but I miss her. Sucks that I can't really, like, get in contact with her because freaking a hell of, like, time zone difference. But I mean, I'm not complaining. Maybe she'll reach out to me someday. Um, but yeah, I it like it sucks that I had to leave great friends, but we're still in contact with each other and all that. So it's always a good thing, you know. We go always like help each other out, like you know and all that so yeah um rap was also quick like two weeks i know like two weeks wasn't like isn't really much but i wished it was a little bit slower so i could stay home <laughs> but um in it in a way like it's like uh, is semi slow transition from being in tech school into like kind of working and getting into that like work ethic and all that so yeah um i don't know what else to say to be honest like it's just just like a small update it's been like there's like so much stuff that happened but it's just like 
I don't know exactly how to compress it, you know, like, it's just a lot of stuff happened, and basically I could just all summarize it into, like, I just really enjoyed what I was doing, and for some reason, like, before I even went to basic, like, I thought I wasn't going to enjoy it. But I, I kind of do, to be honest, like, it helps me work up my, like, um, whatchamacallit, my, my confidence. <laughs> it helps, like, the job I'm, like, that I have, which is services, and, um, like I'm, I'm grateful that I have this job. I haven't started it yet, but I'm grateful because it works with like um, talking to other people. And I have that kind of issue of uh, being out there and actually talking to other people, you know? So, cause I'm, I'm more of an introvert, so I just don't like talking to people. But having this job, like, I would need to do that and have that customer service that I need to build up my confidence of, like, actually talking to people and all that. And, like, I've been getting, like, slowly getting that confidence because of basic, I was a child runner. And, I even though, like, it sucks because you're in front of sergeants, and master surgeons and probably like uh, the officers because they can appear in the chow hall or the defect and you wouldn't even know it unless they're one of your surgeons are like saying that hey like so and so is here make sure you're doing a great job and all that so um even though that happens when you're a child runner like you still have that pressure of like actually talking to a higher rank and even though it's not really that hard to talk to them outside and operational it's just the fact that you feel intimidated but being a child runner like and being it for a very long time or like a few while then you start getting like Semi used to it and feel that confident of like actually speaking up without having to like fear of the consequences and all that. And even though I knew like stuff was going to happen when I mess up, I wasn't afraid of being corrected. So that's something that I'm like 100% comfortable with. Because that's something, like, everyone, not everyone is, like, you know, confident, like, not confident, but that is, like, uh, not many people are willing to, like, adapt to the mistakes they did, you know, and correct it in, in the next time, you know, and all that, so... And obviously, like, you know, I didn't really want to be a child runner. I was voluntold. So my my sergeant, you know, I'm grateful for him. He he voluntold me to be child runner, even though I absolutely did not want to be one. But it's because of him that I'm able to, you know, feel like, uh, feel less awkward of doing certain things, you know, but in some cases, like, it will get to me a little bit, but not as much, like, I will stop caring <laughs> a little bit, today it got to me just a little bit, but not, it wasn't that bad, it just felt like some people were, like, talking about me, but, I mean, it's whatever, I didn't really, I didn't really care, like, it's, it's just whatever, you know, people will talk about you, and all that, so that's something I'm not really sorry. Um, it's not something that like I 
I'm surprised about, you know, so. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much all I can give you guys. So right now, it I will try to give like an update when I'm at my base in a few days. So if not, then I I don't know. <laughs> so yeah. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Comment down any comment. Like, comment down any questions you may have about certain things. Like, I don't know, random curious stuff that you've been, like, wondering about for a hot minute. Like, what do you do in your job? Like, some shit. I don't know. But, um, yeah, just, I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, uh, if you like the content I do, which is mainly like either updates or literally live streaming, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. It's it's more of a hobby of doing a YouTube channel right now, but hopefully in the near future. But it's still, it's more likely going to be a hobby still, so, but yeah. Um, uh, I don't know what else to say, but I'll see you guys in the next one. All right.